Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. It's been a couple of days here in West Michigan. It is February the 14th, 2021. It is a Sunday morning. It is 9.54. It's snowing. It's been bitter cold here, snowing since it doesn't seem to stop. I'm going to get right to it. I have a massive used book haul. Uh, last week I went to local thrift stores around where we live and then we had some really beautiful sunny weather a couple of days ago last week and my wife and I drove out to Finville Public Library which has a used book room and the library was open and the used book room was open so we went there and I I got at least 14 books and so I thought I'd show those so I can get them down to the lower level as we start a new week. I don't like having piles of books on my my uh, table by my reading chair in the living room so I just want to get rid of these and I'm not going to go into them. I'm just going to show them and that's it. As far as this morning, I'm reading for devotions, a book that my wife bought from Western Theological Seminary. It's called Gentle and Lowly, The Heart of Christ for Sinners and Sufferers by Dwayne Orthland. So, I've been reading this this morning. For devotions, and been, I'm on page... 160 for my 2021 diary, drinking coffee. So here are the books. These books came from local thrift stores around where we live. Uh, somebody showed an Alice Hoffman novel. She's a, a writer, an American writer and I didn't have it in my Alice Hoffman collection. It's called Second Nature, and I found a used copy that I want to read in the future. And I found this book, A Short History of Christian Thought by Linwood Irvine. So, and I found this novel, The Walking Tour, a novel by Katherine Davies. This is a New York Times notable book, and I tend to buy those if I see them. It, it looked kind of interesting, so I bought this. This is a biography of Mary Lincoln, a biography of a marriage by Ruth Painter Randall. The, uh, you know, I, I don't know if this is really a good biography, but it was next to this biography. Abraham Lincoln by Benjamin P. Thomas. This is a biography of Abraham Lincoln and they were side by side and since I collect books on Mary Lincoln and Abraham Lincoln and I like 19th century biographies, I got these. And then, you know, I'm into American politics, history of American politics and I found this I got this at the local Goodwill. The Power Game, How Washington Works by Hedrick, Hedrick Smith, author of The Russians. This is kind of dated, but I don't know, it's history. It's political history, and I like reading political history. And then I found Degas. This is, he was an Impressionist painter. I had this already. This is my copy. Uh, the other day, my wife had some girlfriends over for a breakfast and this to talk and fellowship. And I gave the copy I had. I got at Goodwill because I already had a copy and I gave it to her. One of our friends is really into Paris and French Impressionism, so I gave it to her. And then what else did I find? I think that was it. Oh, I found a novel by, uh, no, I didn't, that was it. That's all I found at local 
the local thrift stores. And these, all these books I got at the Finville Public Library used book room. Uh, I also had a copy of this and I gave it to Carol's friend who's into Paris and French Impressionism. And she never heard of, of Andre Bozak, but I gave her my copy I got. This is my own copy that I had in my library. Harlot, High and Low. I collect a uh, Bozak and that's why I... And then I found, a, this is a, goes into my Abraham Lincoln collection. Giants, A Parallel Lives of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln uh, by uh, John Steifer. You could probably read this for Black History Month if you're into that kind of thing. Then I found at the Finville a dinner party and other stories by Joshua Ferris. I collect his writings. These are his short stories. This is another biography on uh, uh, Ulysses S. Grant. This is called Grant's Final Victory, U Ulysses S. Grant's Heroic Last Year by Charles Bracken Flood. This is about the last year of the life of Ulysses Grant as he was working on his memoirs. And I thought, I have biographies on U Ulysses S. Grant and I have his memoirs and I thought I would add this to that collection. As you all know, I'm into American history, colonial American history. And this is on the Mayflower. This is a history of the Mayflower as they crossed the Atlantic and came to to the shores of America and start the colony. And uh, so this is the Mayflower by Kate Caffrey. So I add this to my American uh, colonial history collection. As you know, I'm into e economics and this is, uh, this was a very popular book. I think this came out in 2014, Capital in the 21st Century by Thomas Palkety, translated by author Goldhammer. So I, I collect books on economics, even though some of that goes over my head, I still like to read it. This is a novel I already had in my library and I didn't know it, but it's The Northern Clemency by Philip Henshire. This one is by Paul Asher, and I didn't know if I had it, because I almost have all his writings, but I didn't have this one. This is his novel, Invisible, by Paul Asher. This is a memoir of a mother and son and their love for books. And uh, just, it's a book about books and a mother and son sharing their love for all kinds of literature as she was dying and it's only, you know, 50 cents. The End of Your Life Book Club by Will Shawabi. This is a book of poetry by C.P. Caffrey, Collected Poems. Translated by Edmund Keeley and Philip Sh Sherard. See, it's his collected poems. This is uh, The Memoirs of Elizabeth, Elizabeth Frankenstein. This is like a historical fiction by Theodore Rozak. He supposedly, the premise of this historical novel is that he finds the diary of Elizabeth Frankenstein, who was, I think it goes, Frankenstein's sister, something like that. This is genius, Constellation of Genius, 1922, Modernism One Year by Kevin Jackson. 
1922, he looks at all the things that was going on in art and music and science and literature. And in 1922, you had so many things that took place. And he says it's like the birth of modernism. There's another book on political history, R Rule and Ruin, The Downfall of Moderation and the Destruction of the Republican Party from Eisenhower to the Tea Party by Jeffrey Cabasservice. This I've been reading. This is a novel translated from French by Douglas Hofstetter, That Mad Ache by Francisca Francisci Fran I can't pronounce Sagan and the back is an essay by Douglas Hofstetter and he writes about his the whole idea of translating something from French into another language it's like a an essay translator traitor an essay on the pleasantly pervasive paradoxes of translation by Douglas Hofstetter. So it's like two books in one. So I've been reading this last couple of days. This is by Neil Ferguson. He's an economist. The Great Degeneration, How Institutions Decay and Economies Die. I collect his writings. I didn't have this one. This is a biography, The People's Tycoon. Henry Ford and the American Century by Stephen Watts. As you all know, I I like 19th century biographies. I like biographies that look at historical figures and their surrounding, what was going on during their lives. This is another biography by uh, Andrew Hodges, Alan Turing, and the Enigma it's about, you know, he made that machine during the Second World War that broke the co German code, was made into a film. And then this is historical fiction, Freud's Mistresses by Karen Mack and Jennifer Kaufman. Now, since I'm into Sigmund Freud, and, but that's why I got this, only a quarter, and I thought, well, it has Freud on the title of it, and it takes place in Vienna and in the time of Sigmund Freud, and so I just, I'm a sucker for things like that. So these are the used books I got at Finville Library Used Book Room, Freud's Mistress, Catherine Mack and Jennifer Kaufman, a biography and Alan Turning, The Enigma by Andrew Hodges, Political History, Rule and Ruin, The Downfall of the Moderation and the Destruction of the Republican Party from Eisenhower, the Tea Party, by uh, Jeffrey Cabasa Service, People's Tycoon, Henry Ford and the American Century by Stephen Watts, Book on Economics by Neil Ferguson. He wrote The Ascent of Money, which I have downstairs. The Great Degeneration, a novel by the French writer Sagan, Sagan, The Mad Ache. I've been reading this last couple of days. A book on the birth of modernism, Constellation of Genius, 1922 by Kevin Jackson. Historical fiction on the memoirs of Elizabeth Fra Frankenstein by Theodore Rose. Rozak, Book of Poetry by C.P. Caffrey, Book About Books, The End of Your Life Book Club by Will Schaffer, and then a novel, The Northern Clemency by Philip Henshire, Economics, Capital, the 21st Century by Thomas Pinkitti. American History on the Mayflower by Kate Caffrey. The Last Year of Ulysses S. Grant, Grant's Final Victory by Charles Bracklin Flood. 
and short stories, The Dinner Party by Joshua Ferris, The Giants, Parallel Lives of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln by John Sapphire, and lastly, Andre Bozak, The Harlot, High and Low, a novel. So these are kind of used books I get, and all these things go are a part of my, I have collections. Yeah, nothing really radically different from what I would normally buy at a used bookstore or a used book sale or a thrift store. Uh, but I, oh yeah, I didn't show this. This is one of I, I really like the writings of Paul Asher. This is invisible. I was really pleased to find one I didn't have. <laughs> it's amazing. And I have been reading this, the, the, the Mad Ache, the last couple of days. So now I can put these down on the lower level, get them out of my sight, start all over. It's a new week. I got a book coming in the mail, in the mail Wednesday. I don't plan to go anywhere in this weather. I've gone to all the thrift stores where I'm where we live. I haven't gone North Holland. We might have to go Wednesday to get bird feed and if the weather's nice, my wife and I will stop at thrift stores north side, maybe find some books. So yeah, I'm hanging in there. I'm still I'm still world weary. I still feel kind of sick of everything, but the Lord gives grace. I hope you're having a good weekend, that you have a good new reading week. Thank you for all the comments and all your kind words. And do pray that you are all well, that you have a good new week, a good reading week, coming to the middle of the month and slowly heading towards spring. So until next time, bye.